Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make sure that you can hear the audio on this. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I'm making sure you could hear the audio on this. Do you see this channel name? She goes by Thomasina Lynn. She is a troll. And this particular troll, I've gotten emails from 14 watchmen on the wall tonight. They said that she's been trolling their channel because she's upset that that uh, her satanic minister, Rachel Sheriff of the Rachel Loves the Lord Satanic Ministry is what it is. She's upset that her ministry was taken down by the Lord Jesus Christ because she's a false prophet and telling nothing but devil's doctrines. This person's another false prophet. And why she's defending the fo another false prophet is beyond me. Instead of preaching the gospel and standing up for the cross, she's standing up for a false prophet. In essence, choosing a false prophet over Jesus Christ. This person is a child of the devil. And if she's watching, you need to get a life and stop trolling the channels of true watchmen on the wall. Let's take a look at this person's Google Plus page, shall we? You can tell a lot about a person's character. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's try this now. Okay. Let's try this right now. We're going to go on her Google Plus page because this will tell a lot about an individual and their mind frame. Hmm. Let's see. She's supporting another false prophet who's predicting something to come up World War III in two weeks. Right. This person's got a depressive spirit. Look at these hotlines she has. The holy hotlines. Depression. And she's got the nerve to equate God's word to that. This person is a true troll I'm telling you. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. She supports another false prophet. Paul Begley did a broadcast like that. She calls herself a woman of God. No, she's a woman of the devil. 14 people wanted me to speak on this. She supports another false prophet. A well-known one at that. See, she's she's in league with the false prophet, you know, uh, fan club, so to speak. She supports other men's doctrines. Instead of looking for the word of God. Oh. You see, she is a fan of Rachel Sheriff. She has her, ha her head stuck so far apart behind. Her face is full of manure. And I'm just going to be real. And I'm just saying this because I'm standing up for the true watchman. On the wall of God. Not false prophets. I'm standing up for the cross. Don't test God's don't test God's prophet. That's when Rachel Sheriff implied she was a prophet of God and she's a prophet of the devil. But the scriptures, ladies and gentlemen, you see this person, this Thomasina Lynn, supports that video. I pray all is well, my sister. Sending love and hope you're away to brighten up your day. You see how she kisses her ear? Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to test the spirits. When Rachel Sheriff put out a video stating, um, don't test God's prophet. Well, she's the prophet of the devil, not God. Let's see what the word of God says, ladies and gentlemen. Let's test the spirits right now. <gasps> oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. Believe, beloved, excuse me. Do not believe every spirit. You see that? 
I'll let you get a gander at that. But test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Okay? That's a warning from God. God is warning you about wolves in sheep's clothing like that. Let's go down a little further in her channel, shall we? She's a preacher, rapture believer. The 12 midnight, we're leaving now. Hmm. I'm not surprised at that. She supports other false prophets. Wow, she's a real, real, real Rachel Sheriff rear kisser. See how she defends the false prophets? See? So, to tell whoever is claiming to be perfect the truth is not in them. Well, first of all, sister, the Lord says we have to be perfect like his father is. The truth is not in you. The devil's in you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. When false prophets are being exposed by watchmen on the wall, they call it an attack. No, it's being what God told us to be is blowing the trumpet and warning the masters or the blood's on our hands. She's got problems in the head, this person. The next time, miss, you think of coming up against the watchman, you got to come through me first. Huh. She's relying on other, other uh, men's sources, doctrines. So you see, when you look at a person's Google Plus channel, you get an inside look in their head as to how they are. She supports another false prophet. This looks like Joe Osteen. He's a well-known false prophet. Do you see where I'm going with this, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not going to waste my time, okay, sitting here talking about this person. But I am going to warn you that this person is a troll and is trolling other people's channels. The true watchman on the wall. Okay? She supports other false prophets. Well, the maker is against you, Miss Lynn, assuming that's your name. One of the watchmen on the wall told me you have dozens of channels. I don't know how you manage that many channels. So this is how you get inside a person's, you know, you get a mind frame of what they're like. You know, the Holy Spirit leading the way. See this? So you get my point. I'm not going to make you guys throw up by looking at her Google Plus channel. Okay? The next time you decide, miss, to come up against the Watchmen, I will be waiting. Because the Lord says to stick up for them. Okay? The Lord says to stick up for them. The Lord says to stand up for the true brethren that are defenders of the cross. So, you see where I'm going with this, ladies and gentlemen. Bible movies for children. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do your homework and your research, they have hidden occult symbols. She supports that. I am going to show you something very brief. Skip this ad. 
when you see ads like this, that means that the person monetizes their videos. You guys got to have spiritual eyes to see. This witch, this pot right here is normally in common in witchcraft. This was not used in the days of the Most High. You have to read the book of Genesis, ladies and gentlemen. You have to read the book of Genesis. Look at this. If you see very closely, it looks like a serpent. Do you see that? Tell me something, ladies and gentlemen. Last time I checked, the Bible says that the serpent represents the devil. Let's take another couple of looks at this at this clip. Again, you have to have spiritual eyes to see. If you look very closely, ladies and gentlemen, this shape here, I'm going to try to show you, you can Google it yourself, this is an occult symbol. So is this. Let's move on, shall we? Just a couple of clips I'm going to show you. Now, Let's take a look at this. This. Upside down triangle with the two arms across. This means duality, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on. I'm going to back up a little bit. Oh God. Notice this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go a little bit further. A little bit further. Look very carefully, ladies and gentlemen, here. Pyramids. You have to have spiritual eyes to see. Okay. Let's go on, shall we? Back there, that looks of Egyptian influence, ladies and gentlemen. I know you're saying it's supposed to represent the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel is actually much taller, and we know that it is of the occult. Now look here, ladies and gentlemen. Same here. Pyramidal shape, ladies and gentlemen. You got to have spiritual eyes to see. Notice the one eye here, the animal. Horus's eye. Notice in the back. See the woman? Her face is covered. That's supposed to be a representation of eyes, lamb, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go a little bit further. Look at the symbolisms he's making with his hand, ladies and gentlemen. The Baphomet symbol. Did you hear? Your duty now is to get many more slaves. No one did ever complain about my generosity, and I will be very generous prompt in fulfilling your orders. True, but I need a thousand more slaves. No one did ever complain. You see the two circles there? Represents the... Um, the four winds. 
two circles, one and the other. Look it up. It's an occult symbol. It's commonly used by witches, ladies and gentlemen. Same here, ladies and gentlemen. The one eye. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look here as well. The cross. Towards the end there, do you see that, ladies and gentlemen? You know that the Bible mentions and the Bible discusses how the seed forgetfulness represents hell. I wanted to make something clear to you. What do you think is at the bottom of a well? Water. The sea of unforgetfulness. You will also find that this, features like this, are very common in rituals. This is a counterfeit altar. And it has the cross right above it. That's blasphemous. Ladies and gentlemen. Moving a little forward. I know is that. Could you say that you are listen to me, please? What do you want, old? Here too, ladies and gentlemen. This is duality. You will also notice one, two, three, four, five, six, representation of Satan's number. Ladies and gentlemen, this represents a divided kingdom. Do you see that? This is of the occult too. Man, I come on behalf of God. You must. Look here, ladies and gentlemen. Do you right notice... The horns. It's supposed to represent a demonic spirit. Not the consuming fire of God. So I'm going to stop there. I think you get my point. Okay, Christian cartoons have occultic symbols, and this and and that Miss Thomasina Lynn supports that. Okay, she's trolling channels, and the channels that she's trolling, ladies and gentlemen, are the true watchmen on the wall. So, my advice to you is to be very careful. Wear the full armor of God and make sure that you stand bold in the face of false prophets and their trolls like this.